Alrighty guys, Fatato here and just want to do a little bit of a pre-lab exercise with you or a pre-lab assignment just to get you ready. Since we don't have the double lab periods, the pre-lab work is going to be extremely important, okay? This lab is going to be focusing on homeostasis, which was a major topic that you took a look at during the summer work. Uh, it is very important with all lab activities as you're doing the pre-lab work that you read the introduction and you read through the procedure before you get to the lab period. That's so that things can go smoothly and quickly for you. The labs have been adjusted and can be done in the proper amount of time. If you don't complete them, you will have to try and find time during a nest period or another time in order for you to complete the lab work. So you wanna make sure that you're prepared, that's part of the assignment before you come to class. Sometimes there will be questions that you have to answer. Sometimes there will just be reading that you need to do. So for this lab and for several other labs, you're gonna be using what's called a lab quest, which is this machine right here, okay? We have several different labs. Usually you'll be working with a partner. They plug into the wall, power supply here. And then what's really awesome is whichever type of um, probe you're using, in this case, it's a temperature probe. Once you plug it in to one of the ports on the side, and after I should say you turn the power on, which is right here, all right, it automatically opens up the correct lab. So it automatically opens up a temperature lab or um, maybe a grip strength lab, anything like that, okay? One of the first things you're gonna do as you're working through the lab, um, any labs, is it's gonna talk about changing the time. Anytime you see changing the time, you're gonna use the stylus, which is in the side right here, okay? And you're gonna click on duration. And let's say I need to change this to 200 seconds. Done. There you go, it's changed it to 200 seconds. I can click on okay. Now, in order to take a look at what's happening, with the chart and the data collection, okay? I'm gonna look at the graph. I clicked on the graph up front. Here you can see my graph. Here's my time, 200 seconds, okay? Run one, that's what I'm dealing with. In this lab, you're gonna be comparing temperatures between your upper arm and your cheek. And we're gonna talk about temperature recovery. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're following the directions for the location of that temperature probe where you're gonna place the temperature probe and then the time that you're gonna be putting ice on the area as well. What I wanna show you really briefly is when you're collecting the data, some important parts and pieces and things and aspects about the lab quest that you need to know. So when you're working with a partner, one of you will place the probe where it needs to be. So I'm placing it on my bicep right now. You can't see that because I'm working by myself. And then uh, one person would click, click go. And here you can see the data is being collected. All right, it is up here, it is being collected for whatever amount of time is, um, is supposed to be used in the lab. Now, I'm not gonna let this go for the entire time because we don't need to look at two seconds of data. Um, if you are to set the time to 10 seconds, it will stop when it gets to the end of the 10 seconds. Sometimes you're gonna to be told that you need to stop it partway through. Here's the stop button right here, okay? So as we collect that data, here you can see the data there, I'm just gonna click stop. All right, so I only went for 33 seconds because I couldn't waste any more time. And then you can see the data. Sometimes it's gonna have you um, highlight a certain region. So you can click anywhere and highlight. It's important when you read the directions that you pay attention to if it says click and highlight across to an, a number or a time, or if it says click and drag down or up and follow the line, okay? Another thing that can happen sometimes is you can uh, click and highlight an area and then click on analyze. And you can do normally one of two things. Normally here, we're gonna be going to statistics. And in this case, we're gonna look at temperature because that's the one that's available. You can see your minimum temperature, your maximum temperature, your mean, and then your delta Y, change in Y axis, all right, here, and change in X axis, delta X here, okay? If you need to do a second run, so if you wanna keep this information, you can actually just go to the filing cabinet right here, click on the filing cabinet, and here's run two. You can collect data for run two. Again, you can click analyze, there's nothing there right now. You can click on statistics, you can click on temperature, obviously there's no information, all right? But that's one way that you can look at the different information. Sometimes you will be um, using curve fit, okay? And that's gonna give you uh, your coefficients 
If you use curve fit, make sure you pay attention. The directions probably say go to linear. There's no curve fit here. Um, in this case, because there was no data to look at, if I go back to run one, let's say, let me see if I can show you here, temperature and I choose linear, it's gonna give me Y equals MX plus B, M, B, and the correlation. It is so important, guys, that you are always reading the directions as you prepare for the lab. So you all have lab packets, and after you watch this video, you should be reading through the introduction and reading through the procedure. So you know the steps to get your baseline temperature. So you know the steps to get your, um, for putting the ice in the different regions, as well as being able to pay attention to the questions that are coming afterwards for data analysis. So you can be prepared for what you're gonna have to do with the information that you are gathering, okay? If you have any questions, obviously you'll be able to ask us, but the key is for you to be prepared when you come into the classroom to do this lab, okay? Uh, lab room is room 202. Just as a reminder, you're gonna report directly there on days when we have lab, so you don't have to worry about going to either of the classrooms before you go to lab, all right? One other thing I wanna show you is at the beginning, if it seems like your probe is a little off, you can, um, click on the home button over here, click on system and click on calibrate screen, just like you guys used to love to do when the whiteboards first came out. You can click on each of the X's, whoops, and you can calibrate the screen as you go and then you can move on, click home, click LabQuest app, and again, it's gonna bring you right back to where you started. There'll be some other things during different lab um, activities that I'll specifically show on the LabQuest. This is the most important information for you right now for this first lab that we're doing, focusing again on homeostasis. You will complete the lab write-up and answer the questions on a Google Doc that's been sent to each of you. Um, you'll have to get information from your instructor as to whether it's an individual lab write-up or a group lab write-up. Um, but please, again, make sure that you go through all of the information for the lab so that you are prepared for your lab activity tomorrow. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, you can let us know either via a Schoology message um, in the morning or in class when we see you guys. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.